Hey everybody, Norm over here, and I've got my buddy Marty Schwartz, and Marty is the inventor of uh, Guitar Lessons Online, and great guitar player, and your Thank following you. is stunning, and uh, you know, it, it's really great because you're technical, but you're also a feel kind of guy, too. Yeah, so. I've, I've, you know, I've always uh, been into the kind of groove and soul kind of side of things, and uh, um you know, that's just what I've always leaned towards. I've never Me been too. much of a uh, scales shred yeah. shred master, but uh, uh, you know. But you can do it, and uh, you know, yeah. And, I mean, whatever style, there's there's good and bad of every style, and you know, so for you know, sure, it's, it's for sure. Well, anyway, I love coming in here, and uh, I just want to thank you again for for having me. And uh, yeah, I'll, jam I'll groove out a little bit. Yeah, play something that's yeah. like a soul. No, no, kind of yeah, thing. what? Yeah, that's an old piece of wood there, so. Yeah. <laughs> So I presume you know who Jimmy Nolan was. Yeah, right? yeah. One of my favorite guitar players. He was all about rhythm guitar. It was James Brown's yeah, guitar yeah, player yeah, for yeah. so many years and just killed it. And I have another buddy, um, Al McKay from Earth, Wind and Fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's all about the rhythm. And, yeah, you know, yeah. The, the tune is in the rhythm and in the basic part of the tune, all the little tricks that some of these guys do, you wonder, you know, do they know how to play a chord behind it? <laughs> right. Is there something going on? Yeah, it's so it's so percussive, too. Right. Yeah, no, I love the James Brown stuff. I mean, literally, there's only a few guys that have their own chords. You got the James Brown chord. You got the Hendrix chord. Yeah. <laughs> and those, uh, well, I actually call this the Hendrix major chord. Yeah. But that yeah. was, you know where he got that stuff from, uh, Curtis Mayfield. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Um, I heard he got the sharp nine from a piano player. Yeah, no, that's not, but I'm talking about that really but the sweet, major, yeah, so yeah. That, yeah, little wing kind of that. Yeah. It's all directly from Curtis. And Bobby Womack was another one, too. Yeah, was yeah, like yeah. really great for that soul type guitar thing. Man, you're in the right town. For, for this business. Yeah. Well, I, I always loved that stuff, and that was really the stuff that meant the most to me. It's funny because, you know, some of the young guys who work here, you know, we would get somebody who came in from a rock band and stuff like that. I wouldn't even know who that is, and they'd go, hey, no, you know who that is? You know that guy <laughs> plays with, you know, I, yeah. more of the R&B stuff, I would, I would know that a little better. You know? Well, I'm like that too now with, uh, you know, learning who these young artists are. Um, but guitar... It comes and goes. It never goes away. Right. But it comes and goes in the way it fits. And it's really on its way up, I feel like. Yeah. A few years ago, they were predicting the demise of the guitar, which okay. I kind of How many was, times have you heard that? Well, that was... It was, was kind of coming pretty loud at one moment there. And I, I kind of was... Yeah, I didn't feel like it was happening because people were coming in here and we were... You know, we never really experienced... I don't think I've ever had a bad year. Yeah. In my entire time through the business. But, you know, when they were predicting the demise of guitar, I mean, it was basically guys with turntables and nine dancers yep. and all that. And sometimes even when I see the music award shows, you know, it's sort of, you know, you go, God, what is it becoming? You know, yeah. so, and, and some of that's really good, but they need to change it up a little bit, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you guys uh, love guitar and learning guitar, this is the guy that you want to uh, follow, you know, Thanks, him. Norm. My buddy Tim Pierce, of course, you know, is another friend. guy who's like you know, just you can't can't beat him. He's another guy who's played on so many tunes and so many styles. Oh yeah, no, love really Tim great. Pierce, good friend. So thank you, Marty, for Thanks coming so much. in, and I really Thanks, appreciate guys. it. And by the way, it's a 1955 hardtail Stratocaster. Hardtail meaning it doesn't have tremolo, so uh, two tone sunburst, just a really great guitar. Oh, feels great too. 
take us out with me. All right. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Appreciate it. Thank you. That was great.